so much for joining me today. This is Laura Buchler of Inky Fingers Paper Crafting, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Nanaimo, BC. Today, I'm going to show you another simple fun fold, the diagonal Z fold. Here's one that I decorated with stamped images, and in this video, I'm going to make the same card and decorate it with the Peony Garden Designer Series paper. So the measurements for this card are a card base of five and a half by eight and a half, and this is scored in the center at four and a quarter, and it's also scored at two and one eighths. Then you'll need two strips measuring six and a half by two inches, either white cardstock like I used on this card, or designer series paper, whatever it is that you're using to decorate. And then you'll also need a white cardstock insert measuring four by five and a quarter. So to create this fun fold, you're gonna start by making a mark on your card base at one and a half inches up from the bottom on the side that's got the score line closest to it. So you can either do this right in your trimmer or you can just use a ruler and a pencil. And you're just gonna measure one and a half inches up the side. What you wanna do is line up that pencil mark with, that you've made along with the top center score line, and you're gonna cut diagonally. And that creates the cool shape of your card. Now that you've done that cut, you can use your bone folder and burnish those fold lines. Cool, hey? Now we're gonna do something similar with the DSP. We've got these two pieces, and what we're going to do is measure and mark one and a half inches from the end on one side, and three and a quarter inches from the end on the other side for each of these pieces of paper. Then we're gonna line up those two marks and cut diagonally. going to fit on that diagonal fold. And what I'm going to do is add some stamped images on this white cardstock piece because as you can see when the card is closed you'll be able to see quite a bit of this white cardstock insert. To finish up, I'm going to add a sentiment and some embellishments. And 
and here's my finished card. Remember that you'll get a chance to win this card when you share the video. Leave a comment below to let me know that you've shared, and maybe I'll be sending you this card in the mail. Thanks so much for watching everyone, I really appreciate it, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please drop me a comment below and let me know what you think. And if there's something specific you'd like to learn about, just ask. Remember that you can purchase all the products shown on my website, inkyfingers.ca, where you'll also find more project tutorials, current promotional details and catalogs, and the sign up for my monthly email newsletter. I'm not currently offering in-person classes, but you can visit my website to sign up for Creativity To Go, which means once a month, you'll get prepared supplies and tutorials delivered right to your door for you to complete on your own schedule. I'm also hosting casual Zoom crafting sessions where you can bring any project you happen to be working on and enjoy a fun social crafting time with others. Find all these details on my website. If you're watching this on YouTube, I want to let you know that I have a Facebook page called Inky Fingers Paper Crafting where you can join a weekly creative challenge and win a prize from me. And if you do place an order, please use the current hostess code, which you can find on my website. Everyone who uses that code will get a free gift from me. And if you'd like to earn your own hostess rewards, all you need to do is place an order of over $200 or contact me and we'll start planning your own virtual party. Drop me a line for more details. Have a great day, everyone, and happy stamping. Bye.